All right, so it is Cyrus's <coughs> turn, and Cyrus is a little bit pushy. So when he's over, when it's someone else's turn, he waits at that gate and he barks, and then he is in here barking, and when he's in the pen, he's barking. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just doing a little work on um, <coughs> other alternative behaviors. Yeah, good. And so I'm not really worried. You know, a lot of people teach, you know, sit at the gate, look at me, whatever. And those are hard. It's much easier to keep your four feet on the ground when you're a puppy. And, um, and we're looking for success. So do something that your dog can be successful with. And this um, is something that every dog can be successful with. And I'm actually going to open up this gate now. And it's just going to keep feeding. So it isn't the open gate. It's just staying in there and keeping calm. And he can come out if he wants, but I'm going to keep feeding in here. So I really want him to understand it isn't banging and barking and jumping up and trying to get through this <laughs> gate. But instead, it's, hey, can you just like hang out here and chill. So the gate is open and what I'm looking for is for him to do that. Okay. To acknowledge the gate is open. I'm not worried about that. I'm not going anywhere. I definitely don't want to go through the gate unless the lady needs me to go through the gate because this is where the food happens. It's so simple to teach. This is less than two minutes long and um, it's a completely different dog waiting inside this pen.